this episode being called the ultimate natural enemy with how last episode ended i don't know if we're talking about patry we're talking about the demon i don't know if we're talking about another magic user i have no idea what's going on but oh my lord am i ready for it what's up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with black clover episode 116 and 117 now before we get into anything i do want to let you guys know normally with shows when it comes to the first and last episode of every season of all the shows we're watching i give you the full length version which is normally available on patreon for free as a little thank you guys for your support and just a little I don't want to say teaser, but if you guys ever want to like a little preview, if you guys ever want to consider joining the Patreon. So with this episode being the first of opening 10, I see here in my notes that this full length will be available for free. Check that link in the description. Come back here for the review. And if you guys, like I said, do like that, consider checking out the Patreon for future. You can keep that with all shows and all episodes and stuff like that. I am super excited. We have the demon who just came in, which some people commented the translation can be a little wrong it's not necessarily demon it's devil i understand that they're they're different i just don't necessarily know where they're different if you guys could give me the anatomical differences between a demon and a devil i will be very happy but thank you i'm very excited to hop in this episode find out where it goes i say we jump right on into it i am ready like i said earlier don't forget to check out that patreon where you have access to early access and full length of this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment on this video it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this black clover episode 116 the ultimate natural enemy let's do this all right so i had to skip the opening this is the very ending of it i can tell just by the song that it was gonna be a banger so i'm a little i'll watch it soon i'll watch it soon this is looking demon light magic ray of divine punishment the fact that he has light magic but can have demon light magic is insane are they able to reflect that back and your black forms all up and he does it up he just recharges it, does it again. Yep, I saw some Mercury magic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I wasn't way too pumped about this duo going against fucking Dark Patry, Nozel makes it so much better. Yes. Oh, and he's getting vengeance for her. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, offense, defense, utility. That's true. His ever changing Mercury magic. That is very versatile. I love that. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Super amazing is the least you can put it. Mercury Cream, the Silver Star of Execution. I love that name. Okay. It's literally, it's like Haku's fucking ice mirrors. It's literally, you can't escape it and it will kill you. The actual trap itself will kill you. What a right? What a word! What a what a call out from fucking Nazo. Yeah, I love how his name is Ryan the Disloyal, and he's been a liar since we met him, you know. But that was his ultimate disloyalty. That's such a good little thing. I love that. Uh oh, homeboy's getting healed. Mimosa. See, humans are so much better than you guys think, especially this current generation. I mean, I can't say that. I'll say our humans. I'm not going to speak for all humans. Our humans. True. 
Oh, she does look like Tetia. So what happens if we use the magical effect sword on Patri? It does suck out the malice and... Are we getting sucked in? Is this the darkness that enshrouded Patri? Is this that specific malice? Wait, is, is Asta gonna see what happened to Julius? Other than Yami, he's the only one who knows. It hurts. Frustration. It hurts. What am I seeing in these pictures? Those are... This is trippy, man. Imagine living in your head like this. This would be horrible. Asta is literally about to talk to Patri's fucking consciousness. If anyone knows about being in a shit situation and still coming out on top, it's Asta. Yeah, it is true. And I love how Asta's stepping from the darkness into like this light to tell him this. Mmm. I want to say something right now, but Asa's taking the words out of my mouth perfectly. <laughs> like, anything I could even think about saying, my man Asa's on top of it. That is facts. Like, I love the way they're saying that. Patri is upset because he wasn't chosen and was fooled this whole time. Asa wasn't chosen from the day he was born. He was the opposite of chosen. And he still, you know, perseveres, pushes through no matter what. And he negated all the darkness in Patri. Talk no jutsu is a son of a bitch, you know? I like how his eyes are half dark elf, half normal elf. So now we get to see what he's up to once he escapes. Actual licked? Versus the... Fucking demon? So, yeah, okay. Mimosa? Coming to save... Oh, no, is that Charlotte? Who the fuck is that? Yep. Mmm, Charlotte Elf Rosalie. We have Licked, Yami, and Elf Charlotte all fighting a demon? Is this what I have thought Black Clover would have been right now? No! Meanwhile, Lick's over there just like, hey. Yeah, I've never seen a guy literally shrouded in a black aura. Like, this guy is bad. Oh, that was such a quick episode. God damn it. All right, so I didn't watch the ending in case of spoilers, but I heard there's an after credit scene, so I'm going to watch it. Nero, I've been having theories about Nero constantly. Is he doing this to wake up Finral, get him into the fight? We do need you, Finral. We could really use you. Before I start this next episode, what the f Right back to where we were. Why does Nero have an attitude too? I know. And worse, what do you, what do you mean? And why are we taking you, you talking about the demon bones and Hodge? Hodge? What are we talking about here? Oh, the Dimension Slash did cut off his arms and wings. 
It can return. Oh, return his limbs. I thought it was going to return a dark dimension slash. Yeah, that's a good point. He definitely has to have some sort of limit. That's a. I didn't even think about that at all. Her name is her elf name back in the day, 500 years ago, was Sharla. How close is that? It's a struggle situation. That is a valid observation. That's what I love about battle observations and battle analytical people. I love it. I really do love it. You're so pleasantly annoying. <laughs> Ooh, his grimoire color, the aura around it. I love that. This is his first time using it. He's not lying. What the flying fuck did he just say? He's got to be speaking a demon language, bro. What the fuck? Uh. That literally looks like my family's hands at the Thanksgiving table. Tell me why that thing seems like a yeah, gelatinous being that's never going to be able to be stopped. So, Finral and Nero are going to Hodge. This is where the stone template is. Yes. Yes. Let's not resurrect this demon. No. No. I was cool with the part before. I was cool with that part. I don't know about... I don't know about all this. I... Oh. Is your hand burning from that? Oh. Like, what the? If I was just Nazel anyone down here and I see that, I'm like, what the? Oh, I love how we thought of Noel. Yes, go talk to Noel, work together. I need my boy Raya to get back to being healed because we could go for some Volto spatial magic right now. We could use some of that shit. Nero had a seal on him? Only my spell? Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Lumiere, Silva Million, Clover? So is this man the single leader of all three major houses? Vermilion, Silva, and Augustus Clover, like the Clover... King, what the f the fur a eh? he's still he's still alive he's 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 uh, and he said the seal there's a seal and Nero's the one who did it and Nero sealed him se herself that was a girl Secre Swallowtail is that Nero's actual name why she kind of looks I got I gotta say she now which is super weird. But she kind of looks super tired, but I, I I like her design. That's She was a fucking bird? Why was she a bird? Confinement magic. The whole... Just partially, not even fully. 500 years ago, that's what she was called? So one episode, Nero is a bird that I really like. One episode, Nero is a cute girl who wants to date the first Wizard King. What the? 500 years ago, Clover Castle. Let me get some backstory here. <laughs> to an eccentric prince. Really? Even among royalty, he was a exceptional. Sekre. <laughs> tell me what oh i get so sad thinking about it but tell me why he reminds me so much of julius he was the inventor of magic items like in totality okay 
Is that Tetia? His sister? Yes, it is. Ah, she followed him, saw the elves. That's crazy to me. <laughs> We're getting so many answers, so much backstory, I'm so happy. Now that makes more sense. Yep. Now knowing what happened with the demon and how he's the one who set all this up, you know? The fact that Lumiere is so dope. He's so dope. Yeah, I wonder why. I just wanted to get you out of there so you couldn't help the elves out when they're getting brutally murdered right now. And he was there and binded him, but he didn't have his physical form. And so with that little dark malice spirit, he's able to inhabit people. So he inhabited the minister, he inhabited Rone. Oh. With his dead pregnant sister, literally, and everything. So he was going to turn into a dark elf because he was filled with nothing but malice, but then he saw Lumiere and realized. Like he reclaimed his heart. As the demon said, wow. Whoa, those are all the magic stones. So that's why you couldn't go in there. With tremendous negative mana. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, okay, so I can, okay, okay, because something was said last episode, I didn't want to pause it, talk about it, because I knew I would just end up being confused, I knew it had something to do with later on, when, um, when Licht first started fighting the demon, or devil, as they say, I'm gonna start saying devil, because it was originally said demon, but now they're only saying devil, so I'm gonna start saying devil, when Licht was originally gonna start fighting the devil last episode, and uh, the devil was like, Wow, I'm surprised you can even move like that. You're barely awake. That's crazy. He said he said something along the lines of that's why you summoned that big demon or that big devil and and something along those lines, which I was like, is Lick the one who summoned the thing in Hodge that Lumiere, now that we know his name, ended up fighting? But if in order to make sure that the devil could not inhabit his body, he used the ultimate form of forbidden magic on himself and turned himself into that devil, knowing Lumiere would seal him and stop him. It makes a lot of sense. To keep the devil from winning, he turned himself into the worst thing he could think of. And Lumiere, he knew Lumiere would be to be able to stop him because he's the last hope. This shit's all just fucking crazy to me. Like, this shit is blowing my mind. And so, the big fucking devil that I learned about, no bullshit, on episode one that I've wanted to know about since episode one is fucking licked. For some reason, I can only hear the narrator's voice right now. But then, the first Wizard King ca Oh, it's over! All I can say from these last two episodes is I am fucking shook. Like, oh my lord. So I'm going to start out with 116 because both episodes had some crazy moments. Like I thought L Dark Patry, I keep calling him Lick because they share such similar bodies. Dark Patry was going to use like his explosive ultra solar beam type attack. And then you, I thought that was going to be the craziest plot twist, biggest thing of these episodes. And it was so dope that, you know, and Asta were able to team up and, and, dispel that but then when it happened again nozel was the one who came in very obviously frustrated from all the things that i the midnight sun have been doing 
And I love the little narrator talk about attributes and how the attributes do play a major role in terms of Magic Knight battles. That's why they have Magic Knights. That's why they're on teams. And Nozel is easily one of the most versatile of those. He can go offensive, defensive, utility, travel, literally anything with just pure Mercury. So that's very, very, very handy. And against Patry's light magic, very handy because he can literally deflect the magic with like the reflection of a hardened Mercury. So that's super dope. But he said, like he said something along the lines of, I can't, I'm not going to lose to you who my best, who my affinity is the best towards. And I'm definitely not going to lose to the guy who my affinity is the worst towards thinking about Fuegolian and stuff like that. And he's constantly thinking about Fuegolian in this fight. And that's just so dope. You know, Fuegolian and Mary Leona, they had their moment in this little intro, but like, I need them to also join up and start fighting because I miss them like crazy. They are so dope to me um mimosa healing raya and i love how raya thought of tetia when mimosa was doing that Ugh, such a great moment asta when patry was sealed up and then asta entered the darkness the malice in his mind and gave him talk no jutsu and was able to convince him through his own experiences that no matter how much you're surrounded by darkness and you, you never give up, you always push through no matter what, how hopeless it may seem, how useless you may feel, how not wanted you think you are, you push through and persevere because you have people that care about you and that you things you need to fight for. And it worked out and he specifically said, you know, let's work together. At least let me see this to the end. Fuck that devil who was fucking with me. And then it went to the devil who came up and was fighting fucking licked. And then Yami came in and then Sharla, who's in Charlotte's body, came in and then they just kept fighting. And then that was just insane. Oh, and then it ended with the fucking cliffhanger of Nero speaking. And then Nero, who's been biding her time, her, now I have to say her, Nero, who's been biding her time this whole time, smartfully plays her cards and uses Finral when everyone else is distracted to go take the stones that she knows is stationed in the template go revive lumiere who now lumiere's on her side i really i don't know how i didn't process that but we now have lumiere who is so fucking he's so strong he invented magic items Nero's going to help him she has her own magic we're fucking sealing unsealing so i'm assuming next episode we're about to see the battle between elf not elf fucking demon licked versus lumiere that's going to end up in lumiere and lick being sealed and then Nero being turned into a bird or maybe she was just doing that as a disguise this whole time until she had a plan to get lumiere back but this is just pure insanity pure insanity and oh my god i'm so, i love the backstory with Nero and lumiere and how like they got played the whole time and why lick did the thing he did and it literally all makes sense it literally makes sense so well and I'm very happy with it. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh, I'm loving this show. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or full length. Links are in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Leave a nice comment. Sub. Click that bell. All that jazz. Follow all the social medias. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.